Hello and welcome to another Detective Conan card game unboxing. Today with set number two already. And yeah, I I didn't plan to buy more into Conan to be honest, because I already have like enough to buy with V Cross and ZX, and sometimes I do pick up like other TCG also, like build and divide. But I enjoyed my first uh, unboxing so much. I I really like the artworks, the card quality, and yeah, the the super rare foiling and texture. So I decided I will follow this path with uh, Detective Conan, especially when I saw the secret rares for this set. This time we have two different signed card. One is Hechi and one is Kaito Kid. And yeah, the cards are super rare, super expensive, and I would love to pull one of them. In total, there are four secret or like two base secret rares. They are um, with a brick wall behind them in a, okay, in a reddish, brown reddish tone. And then there are like the super secrets. They have a white background, also like a brick wall, and they are signed by the author. And yeah, they look so amazing. <laughs> I I would scream when I when I would be able to pull one, but yeah. Not uh, not very high chances to pull one. I, I actually don't know if they are like one per case, maybe uh, I can find out or someone can comment it. But yeah, we have run, but it's not actually run. I think it's like Kaito Kid disguised as run. I think this means it. Like it's very high high focused on Kaito Kid this set, which is amazing. And yeah, the the Kaito Kid sign card, man, I the the secret from the first set was already uh great. It was uh yeah, just a Conan card with the author's signature, but the Kaito Kid one is just on another level for me. Uh, another rare, and I, I just like the, the special artwork for for the card game. It reminds me of like Digimon or One Piece, where they got uh, they got special artworks from uh, or from yeah from certain artists too. And it looks so good. Like Bandai does such a good. Oh, what's this? A super rare. Uh, Bandai does such a good uh, work on the, the artworks too, and yeah, this is from Takara Tomi, so from the Recross um, manufacturer, and we have our first super rare. And yeah, my first unboxing, I commented that I, I think the step from super rare to the SRPs. Uh, it's not so high, to be honest, like, maybe this means that the super rares are already, like, very, very well made. But, yeah, the the super rare or the SRPs just have, like, this gold stamping. Okay. Just this gold stamping. But the texture and, yeah. The texture is the same, so there's, like, not, not a big difference for me or like not big enough that I think like oh I really want the SRP but we have run kicking that's such a cool artwork cool dynamic artwork it's just a rare judging from the <laughs> from the art I thought it's a super rare but it's not Kaito Kit another run yeah, and I adjust the mix with the the manga art. Oh, the squirrel guy. And the special artwork. No idea how high the chances are for for this to getting like an English release one day. I mean V Cross was a long, long, long time available only in Japanese, so it took a long time to come to English. So maybe one day this will 
get to to English too. So yeah, another, I would say, Kaito Kid disguise artwork. And this is the art piece, so a rare card in a parallel, so it has a texture very similar to to the super rares, but yeah. I guess there are only one or two of these parallels per box. Oh, this guy. Oh, the shape of his like mouth is so characteristic. Okay, a CP. The manga artwork is just so clean. When I when I see this, I maybe I should just do it after the the recording. I should just continue reading Conan or reading like one case again. I just love the the manga style. Really good. I Kaito Kid and the super rare. Ah, what was his name? It was like working in the cafe. I think he also got like a spin-off series if I don't. I'm super confused. But yeah, the the FBI guy. What was his name? Uhu yeah. Furu, yeah. Oh god. No wonder I couldn't um uh, remember his name, Furuya. So the second super rare. I actually don't remember if I pulled five or six super rares in my first box. Okay. I think this is like the most waifu looking artwork we got so far. Oh yeah. Also with the backgrounds. Backgrounds are so well made. Very subtle, but still they are using different backgrounds, not like they are using always the same um same ornaments or the same what's the English word? Same design for the artwork. Another disguise. <laughs> Uh, what was his name? Don't remember. He should be like from the TV show the kids are so into. H. E. and Conan. The detective boys and girls. Oh, yeah, again. Oh, what's this? What's happening? Close to death, I guess. Ah, uh, no idea who she is. But okay, they do use the same backgrounds for the for the rare character cards, but it's fine. It's so subtle. It looks it looks good. Yeah. Now that I see it. I do use similar backgrounds. No, the second parallel is this guy. Feeling a little bit unlucky, like. Uh, what what is not Kaiba Man? He's not from Yu-Gi-Oh! or what probably something with man in the name. Oh, the the culprit. Murderer. Very nice eye artwork. I took it. And to rare. Oh, another disguise. Shock. So, yeah, maybe pulling the, oh, the second rare parallel means that we don't get another, like, big hit. Still trying to figure out, like, what's the, the actual pull ratio. Okay. Another from the black organization. Yeah, there's also, there's a super rare of Kaito Kid, of course, I would love to pull. And there's also a super rare of Vermouth, Vermouth? I, I don't know how to pronounce the name in English. Yeah. 
from the the woman and the black organization. Okay, now we have the regular version, the regular foil from the parallel we pulled. So yeah, the frame of the card is different. So the brick wall is smaller. It's more of a full art. Yeah. And some, some texture in the background. But not such a big difference. But still, compared to, to all the super rares you get in the box, I think it's it's really fine. Okay. FBI. DP and a rare. So they are the CPR also like they don't have they don't have texture, but the frame of the artwork should be different to like more of a, a full art version. Oh, another super rare. It's not Kaito Kid, it's the uh, the sharpshooter in disguise, Ak Akai. Oh, I love the, the texture in the background and, and this looks cool. This fighting stand. I haven't counted as like the third Subaran. I think it's the third. again and a, okay a duplicate don't think there is another gin man if they oh if one of the sets has a, a signed gin card i have to spend money oh i really have i already feel like i have to spend more on this one for the kaito kit but signed gin Oh god, I would go crazy. Hichi is super rare. Maybe... Yeah, we should get another super rare, so maybe there's like one one last chance to pull Kaito Kit. Now we see like a lot of the duplicates. Okay, we get her in foil, which is probably not a bad hit, and another one. The little rich spoiled woman. Hichi. TP of Hichi's girl and and another rare. I think it's also a duplicate. Maybe I I didn't saw it in my first box, but it feels like now I get a little bit more foil duplicates. I don't know. Maybe the set is smaller, or maybe I just didn't saw it. Okay, yeah, this is the super rare of Kaito Kit. Great artwork, man, the artwork is so nice. The art style and the texture. Yeah, I I don't know how, but somehow I have to find a way to to buy more Detective Conan, or like to that Detective Conan is like one of the TCGs I will open regularly. Next to V Cross and ZX, man, I don't know how I sh how I finance it, but I really want to. It's such good art, and yeah, as I said, I love I love the the manga, the anime. Such nice childhood memories to it and yeah maybe there will be a few people who, who like it too but yeah okay buddy Akai so yeah thanks for watching I, I hope you you like these uh, these cards as much as I do and yeah for more unboxings please check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't yet bye